Hey guys, I just want to talk about yesterday's video. So, some guy hit me up yesterday, right? Well, he's one of my friends, I guess. And like, he made a very valid point about yesterday's video. Um, I had to write it down because, like, I don't want to make it all script, but yeah, oh well, whatever. Yellow. <laughs> Anyways, I kind of did make myself seem like I was a hypocrite. Um, you know, like, you know, everyone is a hypocrite sometimes. I can't help myself from being one either. So he told me how I told my viewers not to talk about themselves and, like, make them feel like shit. But then I just contradicted myself and I told myself I was fat and ugly. And I don't mean to do that because I actually do want to stop. And it really isn't good to make fun of yourself because it does hurt inside because you're, like, it's like you're telling your own self the truth when sometimes it's not the truth, you know? And I know sometimes um, when I'm with my friends, they make fun of me as a joke. And sometimes I take it personally personally when I shouldn't. And I should stop. I shouldn't feel that type of way. But honestly, sometimes I do wish I could feel better about myself. Like, I want to look in the mirror and be like, wow, you're fucking beautiful. When I know I'm not. But I don't know. I guess... I am. You know, everyone's beautiful in their own way, so I guess I should tell myself that I'm beautiful. Hey, you're fucking beautiful. I'm looking at myself in the camera, you're beautiful. You should always look at yourself in the mirror and be like, you're, no one else looks like you. Unless you're a twin, of course. Identical twin. And like, no one else looks like you, so you should be proud. You can make yourself look different. And everyone should feel happy, you know? And lately, I've been making myself feel happy. I'm walking a lot and I'm eating less and doing what's good for me and now with others, you know. I don't want to impress others. I want to impress myself. Be like, wow, Kathy, you made yourself look as good as you want to feel, you know. Like that. And remember, guys, always enjoy yourself the way you are. Be comfortable. You don't always have to be shy. I know there's a lot of shy people out there, but come on now, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, that's all I really had to say. So I was like downstairs with my sister, chilling, making a different video. But this is my own video. It's just me, you know, talking to you guys. Because I like talking to you guys. Well, even though I really don't think people are really looking at my videos anymore. Because I'm not all that good of a person to look at. Because I'm boring sometimes. <laughs> Why am I boring? But I could be fun. I could, you know, do a lot of things, you know, look a llama. <laughs> I don't know. That's not really black. But oh well. Anyways, what should I talk about? I wanted to make a video, but I think it's next time I'll make one. I'm gonna make one about, you know, like other stuff. So, like, I have a lot of notes here. It's my iPod. Okay, I'm going to read you. May 5th, 101 days ago. It sucks feeling depressed. What sucks more is that you can't tell your friends that you're depressed. It just hurts knowing you could be happy, but you won't let yourself. Selfish reasons. I have a feeling that once I get happy, something or someone will ruin it. Man, I miss having someone there to love me. Or just to make me feel wanted and just a best friend and a lover. Why did I have to be such a fucking burden in the past all i ever do now is hurt those who love me like no other i hate this shit i w i just want to end it all now why can't my time in life be done i am so depressed but i don't have the guts to cut myself no no that's just not me everyone is taken or just not right for me fuck why am i so picky it's all my friends <laughs> I shouldn't even say that well it's not you're right it's not my friend's fault but it's my fault for listening to them sometimes but not like my close friends, but like some other people. Like this is why I don't go on Facebook anymore. Cause people are like, oh, why them? Blah blah. Because they make me happy, you know. You can't judge a person because one other person makes them happy. Are you jealous or something? Because you can't be happy yourself. This is why I can't be with anyone anymore. Anyways, <laughs> it was so bad. Like I don't know what to think about anymore. I put myself down so much. I should hang out with positive people and ignore what 
makes me unhappy. I had to focus in school and I appreciate the little things in life. I also had to start focusing on losing weight. I had to stop being so damn lazy. God damn, I need to boost every day. I need like a boost every day and motivation. I really miss being in a relationship. I miss being treated like I'm the only girl in the world. I miss how I felt when I was called babe in person. I miss that feeling I get every time in my stomach before, during, and after seeing that person. It's like so amazing. Can't really explain it, but it's simply wonderful. Don't you guys agree? Like when you have that one person that's just like, <sighs> they just give you those type of feelings in your stomach and you just don't want them to leave. You want, you want them there next to you always. Ugh, I wish I could find someone like that right now. But you know, sometimes I do just want to focus on myself. Guys, oh my gosh. I used to write so much for no reason. June 1st, the first of June, ever. What it means to love is to feel nothing you've ever felt before. To feel love is to find someone you'd never expect yourself to be with. It comes unplanned, it comes naturally. Nowadays, you can't find pure, natural love. But then again, nothing is perfect. Love can be like deja vu when you're with your significant other. To love someone, you would feel that need to die for them. All you ever think of is them. Sometimes to love someone, all you need is in your life to... Wait, wait, just hold on. Sometimes to love someone, all you need in your life is them. Don't you agree? 24-7. <laughs> all you ever want to do is kiss them, hug them, and tell them you love them. When you love someone, all you want to do is anything for them. You'll kill, steal, whatever possesses your mind to do them for them. When you kiss them, you feel like you've been shocked by an electric eel when your lips speak theirs. I just started hearing some music and I just put that in there. To love someone is to feel like you're the only person in the world with them and no one else matters. You'll do, you'll do anything with them. You'll be spontaneous, romantic, and sexual. You'll do what you feel. No relationship is perfect, but there will be arguments and disagreements. To love someone, you'll stick with them through thick and thin. Right? You got to, I mean. You just have to. My cat's doing some freaky shit right now. <laughs> um... What does it mean to be a hero? I was so bored back then. Holy shit, it was seven days ago. To me, you can be a hero. To me, you can be a hero to anyone or anything. What it means to be a hero is to have a good heart, to be kind and giving. Those who do things to others. What the fuck? Those who do things to others and expect nothing are heroes to me. The world needs more heroes. I think so. Mmm. This was 53 days ago, which was um, June 22. Yeah, this is about my grandpa. I'm gonna read it to you guys. So today marks the day that it's been a year since I've seen you. Wow, I'm so heartbroken about you leaving me here alone. I miss you so much, Abuelo. I really do. I love teaching you English and going to you to make me laugh and you sing it to me, rubbing my pain away when I needed a massage. Those rough ass hand massages you did. I love you and I wish you were here with me. I really have changed, but I guess pain does that. I'm not going to be all Christian or Catholic about it and say, oh, he's looking down on me from heaven, or he's not dead, he's sleeping, because I don't believe in that. But I do believe you're in my heart and always will be. I love him. He's like my nigga, you know, like, I really miss him a lot, but this time I'm not gonna cry, guys. I don't wanna make you guys like that sad. <laughs> I made up something in summer school. <laughs> no, 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 come here. I made up something in summer school with Diego right next to me, my friend Diego. It's like, I wanted to make you mine, I wanted to make you happy, but then you fucked me over and I look who's feeling crappy, not me. <laughs> that was so fucking bored. And I started doing these do's and don'ts, but I'm gonna do that to another video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my videos. If you guys really do like my videos, yeah. Bye.